It's Ash from Super Videos back for another video for season 10 of The Walking Dead. In this video we're gonna be taking a look at a new theory that's going around when it comes to something that was in season 10 episode 19, the third bonus episode which was called One More. There's a possibility that what we saw at the end of that episode could be a death clue based on some comic source material. So stay tuned, we'll be right back to break this down. Alright, before we get into this, as always, if you're not a subscriber and enjoy the content by the end, consider subscribing to join our community, share and smash the like button, and press the bell to be notified when we upload. So with that said, let's dive right into it. So what scene are we talking about? So if we go back to season 10 episode 19 and take a look at the very last shot, we can see Aaron and Gabriel walking towards this water tower all the way in the background. Now obviously, they're going there because this was one of the last spots in Maggie's map that they wanted to check out. But is the water tower that we see a clue about a big death that might be coming up? Or is it just an Easter egg? Now for non-comic readers, let me give you a little bit of context. So in the comic book, around the time when the Whisperer War is just about done, we have a particular scene where Gabe climbs up a water tower, but his ankle gets stuck on the ladder and he's just hanging there. And then Beta walks in, cuts his guts open and walks away. Obviously that kills him, but leaves his body for walkers to feast on. Now, the big question is whether they're going to be doing that particular scene at some point in season 11, which is going to be an aftermath of what we saw at the end of season 10, episode 19, with Gabe and Aaron walking towards that water tower in order to do one last supply run. My short answer is I think this is just an Easter egg. I don't think that we're actually going to see that particular scene from the comics come to life in the TV version in the same way and I don't think that either Gabe or Aaron are going to be killed in the same exact way that Gabe was killed in the comics at any point in the future. Now the reason why I say this is because of three big... Now the reason I say this is because of three things that have happened in the past that makes it extremely unlikely for them to want to carry on with this story. First reason is that we actually saw back in season 8 a scenario where there was a survivor, like one of the guards, hanging down from a tower in the same way Gabe was in the comic book. His guts were ripped open and there were walkers surrounding and feasting. So pretty much the exact same comic Gabe death, but it was given to a unknown character and it was done off screen. And that was back in season eight, like I said. Now that's the first big reason why I don't think they would want to do that because they already kind of did it. Even though it was off screen, they still did it. Now the second reason why I don't think they're gonna do it is because if we go back to season 10 episode 15, I think, it was called The Tower. And in that episode, Beta went up on top of a windmill another sort of a tower. Now, before that episode aired, a lot of fans speculated that the title of that episode, plus the fact that we knew Beta is gonna be climbing that tower, is some sort of a hint that they're gonna carry out Gabe's comic death in some way in that episode. And they didn't do that. It was like a troll in some ways. And in a way, it was the second time that they trolled us, at least comic readers. Now, with all of that aside, Beta is dead at this point. So if they want to do that exact death and not have it involve Beta, it would be kind of a disappointment for comic readers. And I think most comic fans would not even want to see that. The whole point of that death and the whole point why that was a significant and pretty interesting death scene was because it involved a badass character like Beta. So if they just want to give it to some other random person that does this or a remaining whisper, it would kind of take away from what that death was supposed to do. And if they wanted to do this death, why didn't they just give it to Beta and have it happen a little earlier? And then the last reason why I don't think they would want to do this death is because they already had a chance to kill Gabe and Aaron in 1019. They didn't do it. So 
Is it cheap and again another method of trolling fans for them to kill them off just when we thought they're gonna keep them around? I think so. There's times when that works but I don't think that that would work in this case. So these are all the reasons why I think that the water tower that we saw at the end of season 10 episode 19 was just an easter egg to comic fans rather than an actual clue but I am interested to know everyone's thoughts and opinions. Do you think that the tower is in fact hinting towards either Gabe or Aaron dying in the same way? Gabe died in the comics or do you think that it was just an easter egg? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the content, share and smash the like button. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe to join our community and press the bell to be notified when we upload. That's it for this video, see you next time for another super video.